my name is Chloe Jordan. This is Ward Elementary, and this is my third grade class. We're going to do math today. Yay! Woo! We do math every day. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Yes. We can participate. My eyes are. Looking. My ears are. Listening. My body is. Call. My lips are. Zip. All right. This is our math warm up for today. It is two truths and a lie. So, your job is to read them carefully, figure out which statements are true, which one is the lie. There is one lie. So, I'm going to be looking for hand signals. Here's a reminder of the hand signals. So, this is your still thinking, this is your ready, this is your more than ready, you have a strategy and an answer. You have your whiteboards in front of you in case you need them. All right, so we're just private think time right now. Okay, the first one it says three tens and four ones is the same as two tens and fourteen ones. Seven tens and seventeen ones is the same as nine tens and seven ones. And then the last one it says four tens and twelve ones is the same as fifty two ones. All right, so you have your boards if you need it. Well, let me know when you're ready. This is private think time. And if you think you know which one is the lie, you can write if it's one, two, or three. seconds of private think time. I see Lawson's ready. Yes, Cam. What does it mean when it's Ooh, good question. So Cameron asked, what does it mean when it says is the same as? In math, what does it mean when we say is the same? What do you think? Like, they're both the same. Like, they're both the same number. Equal. They're, not, yeah. <laughs> they're both the same. They're both equal. So this is saying four tens and twelve ones is equal to fifty-two ones. So both would be balanced. Both would be the same. So that was one minute of private think time. I want you to turn and face your partner. Turn and face your partner, Elijah. I'll be your partner. All right. If you are the odd partner, go first. You have one minute to speak. Even partners, you are not speaking. Same ones is the same. Did you know that you are absolutely right? It is the second one as well. How did you know? All right, give me a thumbs up if partner, the odd partner, has shared. All right, go ahead, even partner, it is your turn to talk. And then, Elisha, you can just listen to Leia for right now. Wrap up your conversation. All right, go ahead and turn it and face me. We are going to review what we thought. So I want you to show me with a one, a two, or a three, which one was the lie? Was it one, two, or three? I see a lot of peace signs. Yep, it is the second one. Let's go what? over why that is. What? Okay. You guys ready? Yes. All right. So the first one, it says three tens and four ones. What is three tens and four ones? 34. 34. Very good. So this one is 34. Now this says it's the same as, which in math, that means equal to. 
two tens and 14 ones. What do we know about 14 ones? What do we have to do? Tao. We have to exchange the, any, we have to exchange the tens to make, no, we have to exchange 10 ones to make a 10. Very good. So if we have, or one set of 10, that would be added to this 10, right? So that's really three tens and four ones, which is? 34. Is 34 equal or the same as 34? Yes. yes, it is. So that is true. Let's look at the second one. Seven tens and 17 ones. This one we also have to exchange. So we take the 10, put it over here. So really we have eight tens and seven ones. So what number is that? 87. 87. Well done. It's the same as nine tens and seven ones. What number is that? 97. Very good. Now this is saying 87 is equal to 97. No, that's the lie. That's the lie. Okay, in math, that's our symbol for equal. Soon we will learn that this is the symbol for not equal. All right, last one. Four tens and 12 ones. So again, we have to exchange, right? Yeah. Yes. So now that's going to turn into a five and it will be 52. Thank you, Leia. All right, is the same as 52 ones. 52 ones is? 52. 52, yeah. So that's true. So that is true, very good. So the second one is the one that is the lie. The first and the third statement are the ones that are true. Very good, go ahead and erase your board. Put your marker back in bed, just like how Elijah is doing. And put your hands in your lap for now. All right, we are gonna move on to the next activity. So today we are working on comparing numbers using words, models, and symbols. In third grade, we have to compare numbers up to four place values. But we're gonna start little and work our way up to that. All right, which number is bigger, 43 or 34? I'm looking for a silent, hey Owen, why did you go like that? Tell me why you went like that. You were trying to eat the 43. Why were you trying to eat the 43? Because it's bigger. He went like that. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Does anyone remember the crocodile? Yeah. Maybe from second grade? The crocodile is coming back out today. So if we were a crocodile, and he's a very hungry crocodile, which number would he want to eat? The bigger number, which is? 43. Now... Since we're mathematicians in here, how did we know that 43 was bigger? Because I'm looking at this, and they both have the same digits, just in different orders. So how do we know that 43 is bigger? Cameron. Because 40 is bigger than 30, and 3 is bigger, and then 4 is bigger than 3. But 3 is in the one Yeah, you're right. So he said 40 is bigger than, were you saying 30? Yeah, so he looked at the tens place. Did anybody else look at the tens place when you were comparing? Yeah, so when you're comparing numbers, you wanna start at the highest place value and then work your way down if you need to. So he compared this four, what does this four represent? 40. 40, cause it's in the tens. Four tens is? 40. 40. So which is bigger, 40 or three tens, which is 30. Which one's bigger? 40. 40. 40. Therefore, 43 would be bigger. So you guys already know that you want to look at the biggest place value. Now, what were to happen if it was maybe 42 or 45? Now, this one, if I'm comparing the first place value or the place value with the highest value, they're equal. They're equal. They're the same. So what would we have to do? Simdi. Um, so you go past the tens place and then you look at the ones. Um, so the five is bigger than the two. So 45 is the biggest. Place. Very good. You said that beautifully. So you would first look at the highest place value, but if they're the same, you would jump to the next place value. And then if those are the same, you would have to jump to the next place value. So you just keep going until the place values are different. 
then you can compare the values. All right, now, this is your favorite part. We get to learn a new song. Yeah! Yes. Yes. The cheesier the better because it'll get stuck in your head, right? It's going to be cringe. It's going to be cringe. It's okay. You guys ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Sing it with me. And then, of course, there's hand motions too. We're going to make a crocodile mouth with our hands. You guys ready? We're going to do it nice and slow the first time. Get your hand ready. Okay, so greater than, less than, greater than, less than. One, two, three. Sing with me. The crocodile likes to eat the highest value that he sees. Nom, 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 nom. What do you guys think? Cring. That's okay, guess what? Thank you very much. Do you think it could end up on the radio? Yeah! <laughs> All right, give me five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do it one more time, everybody. Loud and proud. Greater than, less than, greater than, less than. One, two, three. Sing with me. The crocodile likes to eat the highest value that he sees. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Very good. Now, key lyric is the highest value that he sees. That's what the crocodile likes to eat. So the mouth of the crocodile is always going to eat the higher number. And we do a whole crocodile mouth because the actual symbol in math looks like a mouth, right? And so you might see things in math that make it look like a crocodile because it looks like a mouth that's eating. <coughs> yes, question. Um, but if he eats all the, the highest value, isn't he gonna get a little big and fat and big back? Oh. <laughs> because all of those higher numbers. How's that the food chain gonna fat stop? Fat <laughs> the food chain, we're bringing science into this. All right, you guys ready for a game? <laughs> yes. yes. All right, so this game I like to call Crocodile chomp. So we're gonna do our hands and you guys can practice with me. You're gonna do your hands like rock, paper, scissors, chomp. But we're not gonna say rock, paper, scissors. We're gonna go one, two, three, chomp. So on the chomp, you're gonna make your hand look like a crocodile and you're gonna have a number on your hand. So you and your partner who you're comparing numbers with, you're gonna look at your numbers. Whoever has the higher number is gonna chomp that number. Oh, bless you. So whoever has the lower number, they have to sit back down. And they're out. So we're going to keep going until only one person remains. Does everyone understand? Yes. All right. I want everyone to put their hand on their head. One hand on their head. I'm going to give you a number. Keep your hand on your head until everybody. Is it only one, two, three? Yes. How much do you have? We all have a number. Mm -hmm. All right, so hand on your head. I'm going to give you a number. Wait until everyone has a number. Now I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see the number. If I put it down upside down on your hand, feel free to correct it. I love your manners. Thank you. You were supposed to get whatever you got. I'm scared now. <laughs> You're scared? Yeah. You put mine upside down. I 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 put mine upside down. All right, so because we all seem a little nervous by this game, is it because there's a crocodile chomping? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no! And, and because, because the person. stickers are like sticky. After, after I took the sticker off because you put it upside down, it was like, it pulled off a little bit. Oh, goodness. I'm scared. I'm going to get tight. They need to be it. sticky, but not that I sticky. Know. All right, so what we're going to do to make sure that we are nice and brave when we are playing this game, if you can hear my voice clap once, if you can hear my voice clap twice. Oh, thank you. All right.
right, I am going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example so we know exactly what to do. Would anyone like to be a volunteer? Rain, come on over. All right, so we're going to do one, two, three, chomp, so that we can see each other's numbers. Ready? One, two, three, chomp. Oh, so she has 938. I have 940. Can we look at the first place value? Yeah. Yes. They both have nines in the hundreds place. Can we look at the first place value? No. Or the highest? No. We would have to go to the 10. So she has a 3, which is a 30, and I have a 4, which is a 40. So who would be the winner? You. So I would chomp, 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 and then Rain would have to sit down. And we're going to keep going until there's only one crocodile left. And go. which is going to be me? Oh, we'll see. All right, so I want you to <coughs> go ahead and push your whiteboard marker and eraser to the outside of the carpet so there are no whiteboards, markers, or erasers. And go ahead and stand up. This supposed to be I'm scared. I'm not being shy. Pair up with someone. Pair up with someone. We do have an odd number, so someone will have to pair up with me. Come on over here, Owen. You. Cindy. All right, and we are ready for our first round. Show me you're ready with your fist in your palm. All right, ready? One, two, three, chop. Go ahead and compare your numbers. I have 940, you have 300. So you would have to get All right, whoever lost that round, you are now sitting. Find a new partner. I am ready if anyone needs a partner. Ethan, come on over. Oh, wait, do we have enough now? All right, ready? One, two, three, chomp. All right, whoever was chomped, go ahead and sit. All right, next round. Ready? One, two, three, chomp. What did you get? So who is the higher number? <laughs> All right, last round. Who's it going to be? Ready? Rain, 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 One, two, three, rain, chomp. Thank you for coming to our classroom today. We, we are, are Watch Strong!